Everything streams from the Tao. Everything is nurtured by Te. Everything is made out of substance. Everything is created by the Tao of nature, and from everything on earth that surrounds it. So every living thing should bow to the Tao, the Tao and its virtue, because they are what it is. Everything that breathes comes from the Tao, and the virtue feeds and takes care of it. They grace things without possessing them. They benefit everything, but ask for nothing back. They give themselves into everything without seeking control. This is the essence of the original intention. There's a few things in here that remind me of a thought that I had, as well as a thought that I commonly think of that comes from Alan Watts. The thought that I had was several years ago when I was looking for sort of answers (laughs) and purpose and meaning and understanding some of the more confusing aspects of reality. I kept wondering to myself for a very long time, why does the earth feel that it's necessary to take pieces and parts of itself and constantly kind of reconfigure them into different beings and different shapes and different things that do different things, right? So why is a human made up of all these elements of the universe, but reconstituted in such a way that it is a human? Same thing with an ant, same thing with a tree, same thing with a star. And that was the question I had. Why is it necessary for all this stuff to kind of rejigger itself into something new? And this verse speaks a bit to that, that every living living thing should bow to the Tao and its virtue because everything is created by the Tao of nature and from everything on earth that surrounds it. So always keep in mind, even if you feel that you are sort of a stranger in this world and that you are a a space cadet. (laughs) You know, some people have this view of life that they are this alien being that's inhabiting this spacesuit that they call their body and that they are totally separate from the world, right? Or they're this soul that has entered this vessel that they call their body. But this is not what's happening. You are as much of the earth as the grass. You're as much of the earth as the dirt and the clouds and everything around you. And you are made up of all of those things. You are reconstituted uh, minerals and elements of the universe. That is what you are made of. And so to feel that you are separate from all of that is sort of just setting yourself up on a path of confusion. And the other thing that this verse made me think of, and this one comes from Alan Watts, is the idea that a person is a stream of energy, that you are constantly shifting and moving and changing, but you sort of hold on to this vaguely similar form. And yes, you go through a different version of your form as you age and as you grow taller, as you shrink when you get older, um, as you gain muscle, as you gain fat, as you lose those things, you know, so you can look slightly different, but you are essentially always this sort of vague, vaguely familiar vision of something that people can identify and say, oh, that's you. But Alan Watts says, you are that in the same way that a whirlpool is in a stream. And so the water that is creating or constituting that whirlpool is giving that thing shape and texture and and visibility to others is actually this constant flow of water that is a different, I guess we could call it drop of water or piece of water than it was just milliseconds ago. It's a constant flow. It's a constant stream that is essentially causing that thing to sustain itself, that's causing that thing to maintain the shape and the form that you recognize as being that thing. And sort of by default in our minds, we think that that is a stagnant picture, right? That is a fixed thing. But in fact, it is nothing of the sort. It is a constant stream of ever-changing energy and flow of, like we said before, nutrients and minerals and 
particles and pieces of the universe that surround it. And it's not that it surrounds it in a way that it is different from those things. It is a part of it. It is a component of all of the rest of it. And so those are a couple of nuggets to maybe sort of chew on that are common day or modern day ways of thinking through similar ideas to what are expressed here in this ancient, ancient verse of the Tao.